How's it going guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod and today we're going to be taking a look at a pack that includes a bunch of brand new Rebel NPCs. This is the one, the only, the Rebel Units Plus Mod. Now I'm pretty sure we did take a look at the Combine Units Plus Mod a long, long time ago. I don't even know if it's the same mod, but that's also been updated so expect a video from that very soon. But for now we're going to take a look at the Rebels and there are a lot of NPCs to choose from right out of the gate this is going to be the armored medic uh doing something oh we're going to be doing something all right so you might think oh a medic you know they're going to sit back heal you and he will heal you every now and then which is pretty nice he's also got a pretty good looking gun there something that you wouldn't expect a medic to have now this pack does do a few things first things first it's going to make the rebels way more intelligent not only are they going to well throw grenades as you saw there but they're also going to move while firing and just in general be able to shoot from much further away. As we saw from right there, we saw a good display of his skills that are going to apply to every NPC in this pack. Next up we have the Armored Rebel and this is going to be your standard Rebel Alliance. We can see, yep, looks like a Rebel. Now the cool thing is, is they do come in many different shapes and sizes. We can see some male and female versions. We also have different colors of the shirt as well, which is pretty cool. You're also going to notice that their weapons may differ. We got the standard SMG. We got the AR-2, although that thing looks kind of beefed up from what I'm used to seeing. And we even have some LMGs thrown into the mix. So let's see how they fare against the Combine. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to make it to where the NPCs ignore me so that I'm not being shot at. Let's go ahead and see what they are made of. So right out of the gate, we're seeing grenades flying left and right, and look at how far away they are shooting from. That is incredible. Dude's treating that shotgun like a sniper. Very Call of Duty-like, which is pretty interesting. Now the Combine unfortunately ran away like the little cowards they are, but isn't that great? Isn't that what this mod is trying to achieve? It's trying to make the Rebels badass. Because, well, the Combine have always kind of dominated them, they're tired of sitting on their laurels. They're finally going to make a comeback. Next up, we have a very interesting one. This is the Controlled Combine. You're going to notice these Combine soldiers are not trying to kill me because, hey, look at that. It's the Freeman logo or the Lambda symbol if you really want to go that far. These guys have turned a new leaf and have gone over to the Rebel side. Now, of course, in order to prove this, what better way than to show them fighting other Combine? And we can see they are much more formidable than your standard Combine soldiers. And of course, this also does come in a shotgunning variety with a bunch of different shotguns. Next up, we have the ex-Spetsnaz Rebel, and I don't really know how this differs from the other Rebels, except for their outfit and I assume maybe their weapon choices. Overall, it's just really cool to see the Citizen models we all know and love in some new outfits. We did take a look at a mod that added some new bling, if you will to the rebel NPCs, I'll put that video in the top right corner, but for now, we got some combine to fight, and holy cow, I don't know what just happened there, why were they moving fast as hell, is that the Spetsnaz secret or something? Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know diddly squat about Spetsnaz or any of that, I'm not even sure if I'm even saying it right, I don't want to mess with these guys, these guys are insanely overpowered. Next up, we have the heavy rebel, we can see the rebel with a bunch of armor on, still really cool. And we have the Heavy Rebel Elite. Now the only difference I can see is that there is a slight difference in health, about 50% more health on the Elite. And maybe the choice of weapons has also improved. Let's go ahead and see if that's true. Alright, Combine going out and we can see... Not only do those Tracers look amazing by the way, which do come with this pack. But I'm pretty sure the Combine had no chance of winning that. And just to really prove that, we can see they are still going at it. Those tracers look awesome. I have never seen them in combat before. I've seen them out on the workshop. But now I truly see the beauty. And this guy is just not dying until now. There you guys have it. That was the heavy. Definitely uh, pretty solid. Although what the hell is wrong with your ha uh next up we have the medic scavenger and this is going to well be your standard medic but they'll also drop med kits for you to pick up so you don't gotta wait for them to constantly heal you but just because they're medics don't think for a second that they're not adequate at killing because holy cow these dudes don't miss next up we have the raider and the raider elite these ones are the raiders this one is the raider elite definitely wouldn't want to mess with him what do the raiders do well the raiders are unique they have their own faction. So you could spawn in, well, a rebel. 
and you're gonna find that they don't really like each other. But in the same breath, you can summon the Combine, and unfortunately, they also do not like the Combine. They really only like themselves. Now the question is though, do they hate us as well? I think we know the answer to that one. Next up, we have the Rebel Communicator. Now I couldn't tell you for the life of me what these guys are supposed to do. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, so here's some Metro Cops. And I don't know what they're trying to communicate except death, because that's really all that I'm seeing right now on the battlefield. Overall, just very efficient NPCs. They get the job done, they don't waste time, and they're off the- Oh, wait! I did not spawn this many rebels! So the communicators spawn in more rebel allies. That is really cool! So, wow. In just a very short time, you could get an entire army. And this guy's got a freaking RPG! So just to show you guys all the ones that respond in, I went ahead and undid everything. Remember that you cannot undo things you didn't personally spawn in. But now we go on to the Rebel Engineer. And we can see with that hard hat on, this guy is meant for business. But let's go ahead and see what kind of business. Well, they are in the manufacturing business because they will throw out their own sentry turrets. And just to slap the combine even further in the face, it's even going to be by their own design. Their own custom version of the Combine Turret. Next up we have the Rebel Fire Squad. This is looking like the most mundane, basic, bottom of the barrel type of Rebel that you're going to get. They don't have any armor, nothing super crazy except for of course the Rebel Crest or the Lambda symbol on their arm. But don't think for a second that that means that they cannot fight. Molotovs, anything goes. They're still going to be able to absolutely eviscerate the standard combine. Next up we have the Rebel Flamer, and we're not talking about the guys in your video game chats, we're talking about the dudes that have literal flamethrowers, and they also come in a few different varieties. Scratch that, they all actually look the same, but let's go ahead and see if they can fight the same. Alright, combine going out, let's see what happens. Again guys, those tracers look amazing. I've never seen them in gameplay until now. The combine are running as the flames are spewing, and I don't think they're really going to be able to get out of this one. So I think it's safe to say that the flamer is definitely a lot better close up, but I guess they're just going to have to hunt them all down in the mirror room. Next up, we have the Rebel Grenadier. Now, these guys are going to have some heavy artillery. We got the RPG. And more RPGs, that's all I can really say. Let's see how it works against the Combine. I gave them ample distance so we can truly see... Okay, that was pretty bitchin', I'm not gonna lie, that's awesome. Good on you guys. I think we need to spawn in some heavier enemies. Let's go ahead and throw out the Hunter. We got some grenades going out, very Grenadier-like. And, oh no, we lost someone. Although, thankfully, it's not going to last... Oh, wait, nope, we lost another one. Who would have thunk the flechettes would be that strong? Oh, that's a two-for-one right there. Oh, last one. Make it count! Alright, maybe that many hunters was just too many. And then, of course, we have the Rebel Heavy Turret, because... Why not? I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's a turret, and it does turret things. The Rebel Juggernaut. Oh boy, now we're talking. A dude has an actual minigun. Love the Lambda logo on his helmet. Pretty cool stuff. It's just so weird seeing the Rebels being so jacked and overpowered. I'm used to seeing that for the Combine, but this guy does not mess around. That minigun is truly powerful. Next up, we have the Rebel Poisoner. This one's kind of a wild card. I did not expect the eye patch with a... You're gonna give up your poison crossbow for an SMG. Not only is he dumb, he's indecisive. All right, let's go ahead and spawn these in fast before they change weapons. Oh, we got some errors here. Don't know what that's all about, but they shoot out a poison bolt from the crossbow, which is, again, kind of interesting. And really, come on, man. Now, if only we could pick it up. Sadly, we cannot. Next up, we have the Rebel Scanner, which is pretty much just a rebelized version of the City Scanner. It really doesn't do a whole lot, except for probably flash the enemy and be annoying. We have the Rebel Scavenger, a rebel that is going to periodically drop ammunition for you. And what the hell is that thing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, wow. I'm glad I got to see that in action. And they really do drop ammo pretty often, so if you're ever tight on ammunition, these are your men. 
Next up, we have the Rebel Scout. Looks like one to go in for reconnaissance, maybe bring back some intel. We can see they're much more lightly equipped. Definitely not packing those giant light machine guns and RPG-7s we were just watching earlier. But I'm sure they can still do some decent damage. Also, I love the hoodie. That's really cool. All right, here's the Combine. One of them is targeted. Interesting. I wonder if that is... That might be the ability of the Scout. Oh, okay, yeah, they highlight enemies so you can see them. What is that dash? I guess these guys are packing a Sand Devastan or something. They're gonna go all the way down there, but still, very cool that they target enemies so that if you, for some reason, can't see them, these guys will scout them out for you. Next up, we have the Rebel Sniper, and kind of the same as the Scout, although just with a much bigger rifle this time around. And these dudes excel at... Wow. Okay, let me just try that again. They work fast, guys. That is for certain. Almost immediately. Just aimbot. Wait, what if I spawn in? Let's see how they... Oh. Alright, I'm gonna zoom in on this. This is actually kind of incredible. How accurate they are. They don't miss a single shot. Although, to be fair, the combine don't really move that much. Next up, we got Rebel Spec Ops. And I am really digging this. This is super cool. I love the designs. I like how they do come in some different varieties too. The all black attire, the silenced weapons, it's wicked cool. But let's see if they can back up that cool factor with effectiveness. And so far, they're not letting me down. The silenced weapons sound really cool. Next up, we have the Tau Gunner and definitely an oddball, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and see what they're packing. All right, there's the combine. Uh, guys? All right, something tells me we might be missing something. Um, I was getting errors with this particular one. Don't know what's going on. I do have everything downloaded, just so you all know. I guess they're just gonna run away. Next up, we have the Rebel Teleporter and the Rebel Turret, which we've already seen. But I am loving the aesthetic of this. Super cool stuff. I like how they do have the Tau Gun on the back. Let's see how they use their abilities, and immediately they can teleport, which I should have expected from the name. I didn't actually expect them to just teleport like that, though. It kind of caught me off guard. I thought maybe there was some technique. No, they just blink right in front of the enemy. Next up, we have the Rebel Zombie Hunter. Again, love the designs. These guys look like they're not afraid to get dirty. So in order to properly demonstrate their prowess, I figure why not pop in what they're used to. I'm also not realizing that that weird dash they're doing is kind of like a dodge. It just looks a little strange <laughs> for some reason. I also don't know what all this smoke is. Is that a grenade? The bottom line is, guys, all these NPCs are freaking amazing. And that includes the next in line, Trader Cop aka Combine, that have turned to the good side. We've already seen that with the other Rebel Combine. I don't think we need to talk more about this. And of course, that also comes with the Traitor Elite. Don't know how I feel about the black and red design. Kind of gives me uh, some weird vibes. But I figure since we're already doing this, we also have the Traitor Leaders. So we have Traitor, Traitor Leader. You can see these goons are under the leader. That's kind of cool how they even get their own icon. But let's see how they fare against the standard combine. And well, it's safe to say the traitors are a lot stronger. And last up, guys, but certainly not least, we have the Raider Juggernaut, which plays this music that I cannot turn off. So we're going to have to deal with this. I mean, we know what the traitor is, right? He has his own faction, doesn't really deal with anyone outside of his own kind. And he absolutely wrecks house. And that's pretty much it, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to know what you guys think about this NPC pack. Definitely going to do the Combine one next. I am so sorry it's so hard to hear anything. I thought I would do one last send-off with a fight of all the types versus some Combine. And it's probably hard to hear my voice over this very loud noise. But guys, thanks for watching. Links will be in the description as always. If you want to leave a like or subscribe, you totally can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. And farewell.